just like that, we are ready for semi-final number one here in Guangzhou. We will see Vizel Yatma of Estonia taking on Andrea Munoz of Spain. Shooting on target number one, representing Estonia. Please welcome Vizel Yatma. Shooting on target number two, representing Spain. Please welcome Andrea Munoz. Our World Archery Line judge for this match is Christina Rittmeyer. Fifteen arrows will decide who will move on. Well, we're straight to into the final, final four. I'm Karen Basher. Joining me, as always, former world Korea. number one, Nikki Hunt. Nikki, this simple the question. The Who's the favorite in this particular Shanghai. semi -final? World I think yeah, I'm probably the favourite coming here with that bronze in Antalya. Let's see if she can do better this time. They already picked up a medal in Antalya. Ella Gibson of Great Britain won that competition, booked her place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals yeah, season so finale. Sorry, the winner here will do the same thing. We've got to get through semi-final first, and it will be Lasell Yatma of Estonia to get this semi-final. Nine to start. Nine. Nine. Both starting off with nines. Yatma with a bit more experience, just uh, 22 years old though. Nine. I think we've seen the wind just creep into the venue again. It's going to have an impact on these arches this afternoon. Nine, tight score. Nine. Cumulative score in compound archery. This builds through five ends. And at nine, a tied score with 27 points each. So 27 apiece. You have to say that the grouping of uh, Munoz is uh, just a little bit better. It is, yeah, and I thought her form was just a little bit more consistent through the end as well. Um, Yatma yeah, just looked a little uneasy for some of those shots breaking, the wind just coming in on that second arrow for her and unsettling her a little bit. And uh, this is a, a debut event, isn't it, for Munoz? Yeah, I believe so. Um, the first senior season, at least. She did attend Antalya 17th there, but first senior season on the circuit. First appearance on the final four. Looking very solid indeed. They are now the experience though. 27 points each. Estonia has a couple of bronze medals on the uh, World Cup circuit. Uh, individual bronze from Antalya. This one is a team bronze. And number two of five. Each archer with 12 arrows remaining. And it is this wind, if you look at it, if you look at that wide shot, it looked pretty calm there. So it's fluctuating silt. Yatmar from Estonia with the first hour of the second end. Eight points. Just doesn't look confident at all, does she? She isn't sticking with the shot there. Just broke low, so she's not putting enough power into the shot. Ten. Nine. Eight points. Eight points. Try to pull that one across. Ten nine liner looks like a nine. It is a nine. Twenty 
Aumenta la intensidad, que la rompe el arco. For Andrea Muno, she looks like she's shooting with absolutely no fear. I mean, it doesn't look like she's she's accomplished she's shooting confidence. Of course, you're talking about the process. You look at her face here; she's just eyes focused on the prize. Yeah, 19. Like I say, first season on this World Cup tour. She's got nothing to lose, really, is she? You know, she's the underdog here. There's no real pressure. There's no no following of her up to this event. So let's see what she can do. see on the shooting line the happier all smiles on the Spanish side of the shooting line start of the third end Shooting again, but this time because she's trailing. Ten, X ray. Munoz is a, also a current world record holder, the double Ten. meter round. She's a record by just 1.1407 out of possible 14.40. Nine. Now we'll reset with us. The thumb on the release aid just going over to the trigger came off again. Eight. Process Eight. not quite right here. Anything's possible, especially if there's blustery conditions. It really opens the field up. But Yatma's not in a good place. I think I think she's potentially now, struggling a little bit with the TPs, the trying to panic slipping in, potentially Receive like pulling off that trigger with that thumb. Remaining. Just keep watching her process, seeing if she can commit Yatma. these shots. Whereas Munoz looks calm and first. relaxed. On target number one. Wow. Must be horrific if you're struggling with target panic in a World Cup semi final. But Yatma trailing by four, shooting first in the fourth end. It's not an insurmountable mountain to climb, but a four point deficit. And we're back in action. Yatma of Estonia shooting first on target number one. B, just too much of a struggle here. And I wonder if Yatma struggling with the wind. Fourth end, Yatma trailing by four shoots of grass for Estonia. Ten points. 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 Nikki also struggling, and I wonder if she's struggling with the, the concept, the worry of the wind, rather than the wind itself. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's how the shot starts to break down. We saw that thumb go across and back again on this shot. Long hold. The problem is that Munoz has found the centre as well. The problem is that it's Gatlin's camp. Very, very solid indeed. Can she keep her composure? Nineteen year old. Nine. 
10, 10, 10. Perfect for Yatma. That should uh, settle her nerves if there were any, but maybe not. Even for a perfect herself. 10, 10, 10. Oh, it's just brilliant. This is spectacular from the Spanish team. three arrows remaining, and we have a four point separation in favor of the archer from Spain on target number two. She's just not flustered at all. She's sitting there shooting. Like this is, she's been there time and time again. Estonia yep, just sticking to her process. She knows her shot. She knows what to do. You know, you look at her and she's got this tiny little tremor, tiny, tiny little shake, which is normal. You know, the bow's not going to hold rock solid. But facially, she just looks so relaxed. It doesn't look like there's any tension in her body, really. So, yeah, fantastic shooting. Yeah, she's, she's looking cool, calm and collected now, but you see? We might see some nerves creeping in when she realises that she could make the final. Yeah. We'll have to see if she can hold it together, but her mind should just be on each shot one at a time. Well, Yatma getting a 30 in the fourth match by Munoz. And a smile says it all from the Spaniard. She goes into the final end with a four-point lead up against Lizal Yatma. Got a bronze in Antalya. It's going to be a big ask for her to get through this semi-final, though. She shoots first in the fifth and final end. Oh, big finish to start off with. Brain thought it was gone. Nine ten liner. She got away with it, though. Looks like it's going to go for a measure, that first one. Estonian. Ten points. <laughs> Just keep watching that thumb, that's the trigger thumb. And another liner, but this one's in, it's 10. Nine points, just out. Final shot to next. Well, into the center for a 1 3 9, but as you can see, plenty of room for Munoz here. A 9, and she's into the final. And 8 will clinch it. And it's a 10. She does get the 10 gold medal the end for this afternoon. Superb 1 4 3. Andrea Munoz of Spain in her debut. She's just her second senior. I am by Archie World Cup Tournament.